All right, when you get started with Omnivore, the most important thing to do is to figure out how you want to save items to your library. We give you a couple articles to get you started, but of course you want to start adding your own stuff to your library. Um, so I'm going to go through 10 ways of saving items to your library, starting with my favorite, which is subscribing to newsletters. So Omnivore allows you to create an email inbox, uh, and then you can use that inbox to subscribe to newsletters. So I'll go here to emails. I'll copy this email address that I've already created, and then I can go in here, drop my email address, and subscribe. Now, Omnivore will try and detect whether or not an email is an article. If it looks like an article, it will add it to your library. If it doesn't look like an article, if it's maybe something like, please confirm your subscription or a letter from the author, it will forward it to the email address that you signed up for Omnivore with. A Couple other things you can do with email. So you can send yourself PDFs by just attaching them to an email. So send to that same address. Uh, kind of a pro tip, you can set the title of the article from the subject line, if you like. If, if the subject isn't set, we'll use the article title. Um, and also you can, if you prefix omnivore on a subject line, you can add the content of that email into your library. All right, so that's three ways. Uh, while we're on the topic of PDFs, you can drag PDFs into the web clan, or you can upload them with the Omnivore app. Back on the web, um, let's grab a link real quickly. You can use the add link button now, when you add a link this way, uh, what Omnivore is going to do is it's going to fire up a web browser on the back end and fetch that link, uh, render all the content on the back end so that it can execute JavaScript and stuff, and put that in your library. But what most people will do when they're saving links from their browser is they're going to use the extensions. So the browser extension you can install. Uh, we have a Chrome, Edge, Firefox, and Safari browser extensions. And the cool thing about the browser extension is it's going to capture all the content of the page you're looking at. So that means if you're on a site that is paywalled that you are logged into, you have, you have an account on that site, and you use the extension to save, it's going to get the content exactly as you see it and put it in your library. So you don't have to worry about the paywall. With the extension, you can also right-click to get the context menu and send to Omnivore that way. All right, switching over to mobile. Uh, we just launched our Android app. It's very early days for the Android app, uh, but it does make the saving experience a lot better than using the old progressive web app way of saving on Android. So the Android app hooks into the native share system. And so that means if you go into Chrome, you can share into Omnivore uh, just like you were sharing a page. Our iOS app is a little bit more sophisticated. Uh, it allows you to do things when you save, like set labels, edit the title of an article, or if you'd like, you can select some text on the article. We'll close this here. If you select text, you can create a highlight when you're saving. So that will create a highlight here. So hopefully this was useful. Um, if anything seems a little bit complicated, we have a little bit more documentation to get into how to set up each of these things. Uh, but hopefully this is a good, good way of getting you started so you can go out there and start building your library and start reading within Omnivore.